With every lifestyle medicine tenant, we do want to think a little bit about what are the benefits? Why are we focused on this particular aspect of lifestyle? And when it comes to sleep, I feel like I don't have to explain the value. So many people know the value of getting up after a good night's rest and getting consistent rest over long periods of time. But I've listed a couple of basic benefits of sleep. Now, when you're watching my videos and trying to understand how to improve your own sleep hygiene and get in control of when you fall asleep, when you wake up, and how to make that time in between as high quality as possible, I want you to be thinking about these few things that are actively happening. Number one, nutrients are actively getting absorbed and broken down in your body overnight. So you could eat an extremely healthy meal during the day, but if you want your stores to actually get those vitamins and minerals, if you want your body to actually reap the benefits of what you've eaten during the day, you really have to get solid sleep. Another important thing that happens in the physical body is cholesterol metabolism. So when we talk about, I have high cholesterol, if you've ever seen a high lipid profile for yourself or ever been told that, um, or if you're trying to prevent that from happening, really, really think about how is my sleep? Because one of the main things our body does is acts on cholesterol while we're sleeping to try to break it down, get rid of plaques that might be sitting in our blood vessels, which contribute to things like heart attacks and strokes and really trying to get rid of that excess cholesterol in the body. Another important piece of sleep is the relaxation that comes to the cardiovascular and respiratory system. All day, we are not taking the deep breaths that we're meant to be taking. Our blood pressure is a little bit higher because we're standing or walking or moving or stressed, for example. When you're sleeping, we really want the blood pressure and the breathing to be as deep as possible. Your blood pressure to be in low and normal range, for example. So this is a time that's a protected time for your body to get in that low normal range and rejuvenate the physical body. Similarly, when we think about the mental body, there's a lot of benefits and there's a lot of benefits that we haven't even reached yet in terms of research or understanding. Um, but some of the things that we do know, debris clearing, really, really consider this as a very important factor in this day and age when there's so much concern about the development of dementia or Alzheimer's. Sleep plays a huge role in helping us clear a lot of plaques um, and misconnections that were made either throughout the day or throughout life. And that deep sleep is very, very beneficial in the long run. When we talk about neuronal connections and reformations, I'm really talking about every day we fill our brain with so many thoughts, so many emotions, so many connections, so many changes from our productive day. And at night is really when custodial services comes in and make sure that the connections that were formed are actually going to help us thrive, are actually going to help us live in positive emotion rather than focusing on things like fear or um, anger, for example. And likewise, even in children, one of the most beautiful things that I have ever heard is that when, and the big reason children have such deep sleep and long hours of sleep is for fear extinguishing. One of the most important things that happens when you're in deep sleep is fear extinguishing. Now imagine a child who has to learn how to stand up for the first time. It takes them days, sometimes weeks, right? And in that process, every time they fall down, if they remember that, if they keep that connection, connection in their mind, they'll have that fear to try to get up again. But every time they go to sleep, their body breaks down that connection and has them try again the next day. This is really no different in adulthood. The big difference is that our quality of sleep unfortunately goes down because we just don't take care of ourselves. So what I'm hoping to offer you in these next couple of videos is what are the things that are you're in control of when it comes to your own sleep hygiene. So I look forward to seeing you in the next and couple of videos.